Hi, this is Blair Pleasant um, in rainy Cancun at the Avaya Executive Partner Forum, and with me is Barrett Dickman. Barrett is Senior Director of Global Channel Programs and Go-to-Market Strategy. So welcome, Barrett. Thanks, Blair. It's great to be here. So there have been lots of uh, changes to the Avaya Connect program. Can you give us some highlights? Sure, you bet. We have announced here at our Partner Forum in Cancun some very exciting changes for our partner program for 2014. Basically, we're investing more in our partners uh, in the new year, in 2014, than we did last year, almost 50% more in certain programs. And we're really looking to incent our partners to grow, to attach the full Avaya portfolio, sell our full integrated stack of products, um, to go hunt for new business and play offense. So I can give you more detail if you'd like. Please do. So we've made some changes to our main growth program. It's called Grow Right, and we've relaunched and rebranded it as Grow Right 2.0. And with that, we fixed issues related to um, seasonality in the old program, uh, challenges around measurement, challenges around um, uh, who was included and eligible. We've expanded the eligibility to a number of additional partners. And so uh, we are, we're relaunching it and addressing a lot of the feedback that we've gotten from our partners during the course of the year. At the same time, we're able to simplify quite a bit. So we're taking our five growth programs that we've been running in the past and consolidating all of them down to Grow Right 2.0. So uh, we announced that yesterday here, and, and certainly the partners have, have given us some great feedback on that. Okay. What about going forward? What are some of the um, areas of focus in terms of your channel program for 2014? Sure. We're going to be doing really three things throughout 2014. Uh, one is continual financial simplification. So... The Grow Right 2.0 that I mentioned is the first of three major simplifications that we're going to do that will take us from nine programs down to approximately three. The second thing is a continual migration in the shift of value. So we've been doing that migration for the last three, two, three years, and we're going to finish it over the next, the course of the next 12 months. And I can talk more about that if you'd like. What does shift to value mean? So for us, it means in our program today, or really going back two years, the program was largely, almost exclusively targeted and um, framed to reward partners for their volume of revenue, regardless of whether they were growing, satisfying customers, um, or what type of products they were selling in that revenue. To us now, value going forward is really about partner skill, partner value, the level of competency they have, the degree to which they're satisfying customers, the degree to which they are selling that integrated Avaya portfolio, um, and performance along a number of dimensions, not just revenue volume. So that's, that's the general description of the shift that we're making from volume to value. And then the third thing is cloud. So we're going to be incorporating cloud into Avaya Connect um, in 2014. We announced three new cloud designations yesterday. And then during the course of the year, we'll be, we'll be rolling out those designations, but also uh, embedding cloud into the channel program. So we'll be taking uh, all aspects of Avaya's cloud business, whether public or private, and ensuring that partners who are participating in that business get full credit within Avaya Connect, within our financial benefits, et cetera. Okay. Now, Avaya has lost some momentum for a while. What can you tell existing or potential Avaya partners to make them feel more confident about selling Avaya solutions? Well, I think what what may have been perceived as a loss of momentum over the last couple of years was us making the fundamental structural changes inside the company to prepare us for where we are right now. So we we did have some challenges that we've addressed. We had some some uh, product quality and structural uh, challenges, and those are now behind us. So we're, we're pleased to say, you know, the products are uh, the best they've ever been. We have no supply chain issues. Uh, we fixed any um, conflict issues that we had in the field. All of that is behind us. Moreover, we have reorganized our sales force for 2014 such that we're putting, I think we're increasing the amount of sales reps in our commercial space, which is our mid-market space, by a factor of six. And so that uh, reorganization, the, the investments that Avaya is making in that sales force is going to drive a lot more business to our channel partners in 2014. So we're, we expect to see uh, some, some pretty significant growth throughout the year. Great. Well, thank you very much, and good luck going forward. Thanks, Blair.